Chris Bishop, Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Yozuri. I'm here with Cole Sands, one of the new additions to the BASS Elite Series and someone that's been on our pro staff for a, for a few years now and one of the top up and coming anglers in the entire country. It's spring here in Florida, but the entire country hopefully is going to be warming up here soon and we're going to be moving into top water season. Yozuri makes some of the absolute best top waters on the market, especially for the price point, and we make a wide variety. I guess the, the question for the average angler is, when do I pick up a certain size topwater and a certain style? And when I'm talking topwater, in my opinion and a lot of professional anglers' opinions, walking bait is really where it's at. So we're going to do a rundown of the different size pencils, when to use each of those size, and when to transition over into the pencil popper. So why don't you take it away, Cole, starting with the little 75 millimeter 3DRX pencil. Yeah, so this is a really unique bait. You know, it's the 3DRX series. It's brand new uh, last year, 75 millimeters, so super small. And what's cool about this bait is it walks really good for such a small bait. There's not a whole lot of baits in the market that'll walk as good as that thing does for that size. And for me, when I really like to use this, um, in the fall of the year, a lot of the bait pushes to the back of the creeks. And it's a great time of year to throw top water, but the problem is all the baits, you know, that big, which is perfect for this bait. You know, it's something that we haven't had in the past. We've had the size 100s and 125s in the pencil, but that 75 just fits that profile so well. And uh, that's definitely my favorite time of year to throw it is that that early fall, the late fall, when they're on that little bait back of creeks, um, and it puts a lot of fish in the boat. And the 100, the next size up, that's, that for most anglers is is your go-to in the majority of situations yeah i mean that's a, a four inch bait which just you know matches the hatch so well with so many shad across the country you know most thread fin shad which you have in most lakes are about that size um same with golden shiners that four inch profile it's just cast great um, fits the profile of so many different bait fish and uh, catches fish. I mean, from Florida to up north, everywhere I've been, I've, I've caught fish on that bait. Absolutely, that's a hell of a smallmouth bait too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this, when do you, you know, that being the standard, when do you transition to the 125? So this is actually my favorite pencil, believe it or not. And a big reason is, is I fish the Tennessee River a lot. And out there we're fishing these long gravel bars or even hydrilla bars. And I like this one because it just makes a ton of commotion. You know, it's a lot bigger profile, matches the gizzard chad that we have up there. And I just feel like it, it draws a strike. You know, that's great, especially in shallow water when you're in the back of creeks and the, and the 100 is great, you know, just kind of everywhere. But when you're out on that main lake and you get some of the windy days and you still, you know, get a big commotion, it's got a great knock in it. And man, it catches a lot of fish. And uh, the biggest thing is I think it just has that drawing power. You know, I'm able to get fish out of four or five, six foot of water, even in windy conditions to come up and hit this bait. And you can throw it about a mile. <laughs> yeah, you can throw a, a whole spool of Yozuri know, 40 pound braid off your reel with that bait right there. So, you know, Yozuri pencil bait's my favorite. Especially, you know, we make some of the best in salt water as well, and we really brought that technology over to freshwater. Pencil poppers, though, less of a universal bait. Where, where does this really come into the lineup? So for me, there's a couple applications. One, blueback lakes. Uh, you know, lakes like Hartwell, Lanier, places where you got spotted bass. I, it's a great cane pile bait just because it makes so much commotion. And it, what's cool about this bait is you can work it so fast. You know, you get those reaction strikes, work it as fast as you can. It spits a ton of water. And another thing I like it for a lot, you know, the pencil's a great bait, but it's a little bit more subtle. Um, you know, the windier days, sometimes that bait right there just makes a, a little bit more commotion. So, you know, if, if I'm fishing flat calm conditions, I'm going to go with the pencil. But if, if it's a, a windier day, I might pick up that pencil popper because it's going to make a little bit more commotion, maybe get a couple more strikes. And this is the true, the 135 is a true blueback herring style bait. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's kind of the same thing. It just, that commotion, you know, these fish, a, a lot of the cane pile lakes, we're catching fish in 15, 20, 25 foot of water. And them spotted bass, I mean, they're mean. They'll come out and that bait right there, it's just something they can see. Um, like I said, you work it as fast as you can, which is key when catching spotted bass and smallmouth. You know, I've done really good on this bait up north as well, fishing over rock piles and same thing, fishing as fast as you can and just them fish are so mean, they'll come up and smoke it. The reason that it gets that extra splash compared to the pencil is when you look at the two baits, the pencil does actually have a little bit of a cup, which a lot of other pencils on the market don't, but the pencil popper has a true cup in the face. So the pencil popper actually has more of a 180 degree walk than the traditional pencil. The pencil is more about side to side, right about there. This thing, fully side to side, all the way. And when it's got that mouth, it's spitting water side to side. 
The other thing about every one of our top waters, that one knot cadence rattle makes a huge difference. That and the internal paint. So this actually has a coating over the outside and then our 3D patterns are of course all on the inside so you can catch a bunch of fish on these. Check them out guys. You know, the, the two larger sizes are $11.99 retail. The other sizes are all below $10 price point with that little 75 millimeter being a $7.99 MSRP. You're not gonna find this type of Japanese quality near that price point anywhere else on the market. There's a lot of different applications for it and go pick them up before this season. You'll be surprised. The best top waters on the market, Yozuri's.